Hey guys, welcome back to Waters Family Homestead. Well, I did something I don't do very often. Did not wash the tires and rims. I live on a dirt road. It'll last about two minutes. But I'm trying to fix those mirrors because they rattle and, and as tight as it can go. So I put some sealant in the two parts from the base to the actual mirror frame and clamped it to try to let it dry and hold and figured well i took the little chrome rain diverters off of it they just looked like crap i took the bed liner out of the back and the bed's actually in pretty good shape no holes not you know not excessively beat up and tailgate same way i took the little chrome piece off and the plastic bed liner that stuff don't do nothing but let it slide all over the place so anyway bed looked like it's in pretty good shape so i just kept going from the bed to the mirrors and then i decided i'd wash the back and i was like holy crap it's it's really dirty compared to what i really thought it was i like to never got this side clean i still got a little spot up under the front fuel tank fuel cap there that uh i couldn't get off and i'm not sure if that's rust or red dirt it looked just like the rest of the red dirt <laughs> but either way I did a quick wash. I did not scrub the top because I don't want what I put on those mirrors to run down in there and keep that stuff wet. But I washed all the way body-wise around, cleaned the back window good. It's the best I've seen this truck look since I bought it. <laughs> and it's a long way from being some of y'all standards, but it's just my old truck. So, anywho, I'm going to try to get that hitch put on here pretty soon, but... I'm not in a hurry for it. I don't pull much with it. It's a straight six. So. I did not collect the eggs yesterday. I, I've got a hen that twice in the last three or four days has acted like she was sitting on the eggs. I told you all about it in another video that she stayed on them that night, but then she got up the next day. So she, you know, act like she was sitting, but she didn't. So now I've got one of those light brown hens, which in the years I've had these chickens she's or the light brown ones and the older ones tends to be the most broody and she's sitting on eggs in there now and spread all out like she's trying to cover them so I didn't collect yesterday's eggs nor today until just a few minutes ago so I collected the first and the last pin and 23 eggs from those two pins yesterday and today and sometimes these other hens will lay in the adult box when they're all running loose like this because I'll get more eggs <coughs> excuse me than those hens can lay so I know it happens but I have not moved her I'm gonna leave her alone at least until dark when they're all in the bed if she's still on there I'll pick her up and see how many eggs and I'll mark those eggs so I'll know which one she's sitting on and uh see if she continues to sit if she does i'm going to allow her to sit i'm not going to you know try to entice her to get up and all to uh hatch some more best incubator in the world is a broody hen problem is i got 21 hens and none of them have wanted to be broody yet this year so i'm hoping that one is broody but i threw I, these chickens have been out all day literally all day we had uh i had something to do this morning so I left early and I've let them out before I left and uh, I've left a couple of times today actually but either way I've let them out all day long I've done I gave them scratch around lunchtime and here it is late in the afternoon a couple hours before dark and I had already given them another you know half a scoop which is about a cup um, an hour or two ago, so they've had plenty of scratch. I'm not going to give them any more today But 20 23 eggs for the first and last pin in two days and Again, I have not looked to see how many that hen is sitting on in that middle pin. I know it's at least three Because I saw three in there earlier from yesterday So they could be anywhere from, you know, four to six more up under her because I haven't looked all day long. But I hope she decides she's going to 
be broody and set on some hens, I mean some eggs and hatch me some more hens preferably and then I won't feel so bad about butchering these and putting them in the freezer. <laughs> Either way guys, I just want to do a quick video. Old truck come out better than I expected and the chickens are doing well. They've been quiet most of the day, but I come over and sat in the swing like I do when I finish cleaning that truck just to take a break and they went to crowing and they ain't stopped since. So hope y'all are having a great day. I appreciate y'all watching the videos. If you have not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. It really means a lot. We have gained, oh, I don't know, half a dozen, four, five, six, somewhere in there in the last couple of days. And it's been people that have a channel, you know, whether they actually make videos or they just have a channel because they've commented on videos. But it tells me when someone has a channel, when they join, who, who they, I mean, follow, who they were and i've had four or five that were named uh, subscribers and i appreciate you new guys so very much since we got that warning from youtube we have only gained in the last two months plus um like three or four so it means a lot to me for y'all to subscribe and i appreciate y'all if there's something you want to see or talk about you know prepping wise raising chickens whatever let me know and i'll try my best to uh give you the information i can come up with thank y'all for watching on rumble guys hit the follow button it it's just like subscribing on youtube it's another free video platform and we are you know brand new over there just a month or two or whatever and since we got that warning i started so i want to grow rumble as much as possible a lot freer platform and i can do firearm videos and stuff over on that platform i'm not going to do them on youtube anymore i'm not going to play their politics with them so y'all have a great day enjoy continue prepping it's state of the world is not what we need it to be remember what i always tell y'all jesus loves you and so do i be safe be prepared